the substratum theme engine is usually used on rooted and custom ROM devices that use stock Android or at least close to stock Android but the developers have recently been working on getting it work on getting substratum working on the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus as well as other Samsung devices that have Android Nougat installed. This does not require root access. It will not trip Knox. And it will let you install at least compatible substratum themes on your Galaxy S8 and your Galaxy S8 Plus. To set this up you need to download the Substratum theme engine and then you're going to need to download and buy a $2 add-on that adds compatibility for Samsung devices to the Substratum theme engine and then you're going to need any kind of theme that you want to apply. Once you have all three of those which will be linked in the full tutorial and that will be in the description below this video. You just want to launch the Substratum theme engine application and when you first open it you're going to be asked to grant it permission for storage and then you get a little warning here that tells you Samsung support is provided as is and they cannot guarantee full compatibility with the colors and the AOSP built overlays. So you can either tap OK or do not show again. And as long as you have a substratum theme installed it will show up here. And it's just going to tell you to select your version of Android. This is a warning screen that pops up for this specific theme the swift dark theme so we're just going to choose Android 7.0 since that's the current version of Android for this device you want to tap that toggle to select all of the applications here and this list will differ depending on which supported applications you have installed then you're going to tap the paint roller, tap install selected. Now it's going in compiling applications for all the ones that you have installed. And then you're going to have an application install dialog pop up. If you do not have the unknown sources option toggled, you'll have to go in and enable that. So we're just going to tap on install and done. Install and done. This is going to happen for each of the applications that we're currently installing overlays for. And you can see which ones you're currently doing, like that's Google Maps. That's the phone application. That is push bullet. And sometimes you'll come up come across errors like that that tell you an application cannot be installed. Once that's done, it'll take you back to the Substratum Theme Engine application. And from here, we just want to reboot the device.
Now, these substratum themes will not theme everything. For example, the Android system and the settings, they won't even show up because it's been programmed to do that, as normally they are not compatible and they will cause issues. So now we can see the substratum theme engine application is themed black or dark. the Google Play Store is now themed properly but you're not gonna see every theme, everything themed again just because the system is not compatible with those elements right now this could change in the future but as of right now it's conflicting Now if for whatever reason a theme that you installed is causing an issue with an application, if you can boot up into Android, then you can just go into the substratum theme here. Again, you'll just want to pick the version of Android. And then from here you can uninstall that theme for that application so if you have a force close on say gmail or facebook or whatever you can uninstall that but if you are unable to boot into android because of some kind of error or you can't launch substratum or whatever the case may be then you can boot the galaxy s8 or galaxy s8 plus into safe mode and since that will disable substratum from there you can uninstall everything, revert back, and then you'll be good to go. So that is how to use Substratum themes and the Substratum theme engine on the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus without requiring root access.